Join me while I work. I want to do these every video because I want to show you. You need to put the passion, the energy while you're working. You got you to gotta enjoy it. You got to enjoy the process. You're next to me. I feel that ecstasy. One more. Who told you bad man don't dance? Even with a weapon, my hip I dance. All right. It's enough of that. So I wanted to cover today because I, I got a lot of uh, questions about Facebook ads versus TikTok ads. What's the difference? What's better? What's, you know, the move, the move for you to do? You're, you're in debate. You don't know what. And I'll tell you the answer. And the answer is simply whatever you like. But there's a but. Each platform has their both pros and cons. And it also depends on the target audience you're trying to reach, the type of products, and the type of ads. So let's dive a bit deep in. Right now, personally, I'm... Um, Focusing on Facebook for the next, uh, you know, few products because I've been having trouble with TikTok. Um, I've not made TikTok work for me for a while, um, dealing with a lot of stupid bands and shit. So it's like, let me just try to move to Facebook. That's me personally. But they're both good. Now, you have to understand that Facebook has been is the OG, you know, like, you know, when you talk about the OG, Facebook is the OG. They've been the big dog for over a decade and they have the most money being there. But with that being said, their AI optimization is now the best also. So like I said, there's pros and cons to it. So you can go on Facebook with more competition, but yet their algorithm can help you more since it's more advanced than TikTok. Now, also another reason why I moved to Facebook was because TikTok, you have to be proactive. It's kind of like fucking, obviously it's not exactly, but I kind of relate it to like day trading. Like you have to be constantly in front of your computer, increasing budgets, doubling budgets, surfing budgets, duplicating campaigns, killing campaigns. It, it's, it's really, really requires you to be proactive. So look, if you have all the fucking time in the world and you you get that adrenaline from, you know, being in front of your computer and fucking with the ads, then sure, go ahead. But <clears throat> I realized that because Facebook's algorithm is so much more advanced, all you basically have to do is have one CBO and kind of leave it on autopilot. And for me, as a quote unquote busy man, I prefer that because if my ads are performing well and I'm able to leave them on autopilot, it makes me have the time to work on other things, whether it's either personal development or just social life or it's for the business, but it's on other aspects like the more creative side of the business like thinking of new offers thinking of new creatives looking for other products to go with it uh basically trying to improve any part of your business your brand your product as possible and it gives you that leisure room to just improve on other aspects where kind of with tiktok especially if you go a certain route you work on pulling up the product and then the rest are just ads you barely have any time to kind of improve on it it's just kind of just scaling the ads juicing as much money as possible and then seeing where it goes from there now also you have to realize that facebook has an older audience or tiktok does have an older audience as well but generally more people that are older are on Facebook. It's kind of like we said, the OG platform. But also don't sleep on Facebook because Facebook is included. Meta is included in Instagram. And Instagram is a fucking G app. A lot of younger people use it as well, including me. That's the most app I use 
that and YouTube. So don't sleep on Facebook with or Meta, as you should say, on Meta with the target audience. But then you also have to realize the type of products. You know, first of all, you can't post image ads on TikTok. So if you're looking at a product and it's want to you want to try like uh, image ads, which again don't sleep on it because what I've learned is that if you can make image ads with a product so basically the product is self-explanatory like you could just look at the image and just see the benefit of the product right away you should try image ads because image ads you know you don't really think about this but some people have shit wi-fi some people have shit connection and they're just scrolling and if your video even takes an extra second to load that fucks up your CTR that fucks up the retention rate and people might just skip through. So with an image ad, since it takes less, you know, storage or data to have on someone's phone, it's less likely that it's going to not show or have that type of issue. So people can see it right away. Even with people that are still on stuck on iPhone four, or I don't know what it is. So again, don't sleep on it as well um technically right now i'm testing both at the same time if i'm testing video ads on facebook i'll just push it up on tiktok as well uh see which one performs better but at the end of the day it's really your decision you can go both routes because facebook is kind of the og and there's billions and billions as like donald trump says billions and billions of dollars being spent on it it's already at the top of, if you see a graph, it's already at the top of its peak where you have like, you know, you know, the lifespan of a, of anything. Basically, if you look at it on a line graph, you have the bump and it's at the peak, peak, peak. So if you, you know, you can still use it, but the TikTok, it's just starting. It's kind of, I know TikTok has been out for a while, but it's on the rise. It's on the come up. And that's where a lot of people can take advantage of the just the being on TikTok platform being on the rise. So again, it's like there's pros and cons to each. They're both good. They both work. So don't, I hate, hate, hate. You have to understand when people push something, this is better than that. This is better. It's because they try, it's a marketing tactic. They try to sell you this new opportunity, but then there's no new opportunities. They, they both fucking work. There's both. Both platforms have people generating millions and millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars every month. So whenever you hear this new opportunity BS, it's BS. It's just they, they try to package it in a way where it's like a new opportunity to sell you something. That's just a little quick tip. I hope, you know, it, it helped you. That's all, really. It's not. There's not much else to be said. I really just gave gave you the essentials. Um, you at the end of the day, yeah, you choose. You choose whichever you want. Facebook, TikTok, whichever you know feels more comfortable to you. Whichever you feel like you like more. Whichever you feel like your product fits or your target audience fits more. Whatever fucking is, you can do both. Try them out. I know people who tried one platform, didn't work, went to the other, worked, you know? So test test the shit out, you know? But again, if you found this video valuable, if you learned even just a little thing, just one little thing, I did my job, I gave you value for free, and that's exactly what I want to do. But all I ask is for you to like, subscribe, comment on the video. If this helps you, it might help someone else. So if you pay it forward by just sharing and liking, by helping the algorithm of this video, you will get good karma. God will reward you. And that's when I'll fucking see you at the top. Outro.